Begin by using the New Design from File tool to open the Breaker Fusion Archive file. Once the data is loaded, be sure to save it to your active project. Next, switch to the Simulation workspace and select the Thermal Stress Study Type and click Create Study. The design of the simple thermal breaker depends on it lifting the contact due to the current passing through it. Presently it's modeled as two bodies both made of steel. What you need to do is create a bimetal strip out of this design by changing the material of one of the bodies. Under the Materials pull-down, select the Study Materials tool, and then change the material of the inside body to brass. Brass and steel will expand at a different rate due to temperature, and the goal is for the brass to lift the contact once it reaches a critical temperature. We'll place some physical constraints on the model using the structural constraints, using the fixed structural constraints in the holes for the rivets, and then begin to apply thermal loads. First, you'll apply an applied temperature to those same surfaces for the holes for the rivets, and then to the bottom face as it will be resting up against a box that typically has a surface temperature of 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll set the temperature value to 85 degrees Fahrenheit and prepare for our next thermal load. The next thermal load you'll apply is convection. For this, select the external faces of the design, not including any of the faces between the two bodies or the face on the bottom that you selected for the applied temperature. We'll set the convection value to 1000, and then set the temperature to 85 degrees Fahrenheit by simply adding the F for Fahrenheit to the value. Start the Thermal Loads tool again, and this time, set the type to Internal Heat. For this load, select both bodies and set the value at 500 watts. Click OK, and we're finished setting our thermal loads. Apply automatic contacts so the study knows that heat can be passed between the two bodies. Then activate the mesh and set the absolute value to 0.1 inches. Then, begin solving your solution locally. Thermal studies have the option of the cloud, but a local solution should be faster and it will preserve your cloud credits. When the study is complete, we can see the high degree of stress primarily between the two bodies, Switching to displacement, we see the maximum value at just over 0.6 millimeters, which is enough to break contact and open the circuit. An option that we have in Fusion 360 is to go under Inspect and create a point probe. With the point probe, we can move around the assembly and see what the displacement values are, or stress values if we're presently displaying stress. This is another effective way to interrogate your design.